Black Op Radio presents 50 Reasons for 50 Years. Why the Warren Commission may be the greatest fraud perpetrated on the American public. Now your host, Len Osanek. Mexico City, Fall 1963. The Warren Commission claimed that Lee Oswald visited the Cuban consulate and the Russian embassy in an attempt to secure a visa to visit Cuba. But where is the evidence? No photos, no audio recordings, no positive identification. Researcher John Armstrong explains. My name is John Armstrong and I'm the author of the book Harvey and Lee. There is no definitive proof that Lee Harvey Oswald went to Mexico City. I believe the whole thing was staged. The CIA had the Cuban embassy phone conversations taped in 10 different places. They had the Russians phone conversations taped. There was a lot of discussion, especially the HSCA, about the cameras that were all around the Cuban embassy and the Russian embassy. These were called pulse star cameras. The telephoto lens was focused on the entry door to the Russian and or Cuban consulates. Not one camera. There were two at the Cuban consulate, and I think there were three at the Russian embassy. Strangely enough, the CIA, through the testimony of David Atlee Phillips, the cameras were not working on the days that Oswald visited the Cuban consulate or the Russian embassy. The House Select Committee did subsequent investigations and found that they were working and Phillips was lying. A short man with blonde hair showed up at the Cuban consulate and identified himself as Oswald. Yet there are no CIA photographs or tape recordings that identify this man. None of the consulate employees or the two CIA assets inside the Cuban compound identified the man as Lee Harvey Oswald. Look at the description of the man who Sylvia Duran said entered the Cuban consulate. She described him as short, blonde, unelegantly dressed, and his face turned red when he got frustrated. Members of the House Select Committee talked personally with Fidel Castro. Castro's people gave the House Select Committee photographs that they had taken of the person who identified himself as Oswald at the Cuban consulate in 1963. When Sylvia Duran suggested Oswald talk to him about getting a visa, Oswald, he calls the Soviet embassy from Sylvia Duran's office. He made a call, talked in very, very broken Russian, and that tape recording was recorded by the CIA. And what we have now is a person who, who appears to be somewhat desperate to get a visa to go back to Cuba. The tape recording of Oswald's voice, which was clearly not Oswald, the FBI heard it. They were of the opinion that this is not Lee Harvey Oswald's voice and then the tape disappeared or was erased. The conversation between Hoover and President Johnson that occurred at 10.01 a.m. on November 23rd, the day following the assassination, as the two men discussed Oswald's visits to Mexico City. We have up here the tape and the photograph of the man who was at the Soviet Embassy using Oswald's name. The picture and the tape do not correspond to this man's voice nor to his appearance. In other words, it appears that a second person who was at the Soviet Embassy down there CIA officers lied and we now know they fabricated documents and photographs in an attempt to create the illusion that Oswald was in Mexico City. The Warren Commission had very little documentation that placed Oswald in Mexico City, but had reports from credible eyewitnesses that placed him in Dallas at the same time. The Commission knew that photographs and a tape recording showed that someone impersonated Oswald in Mexico City but they kept that information from the public because it strongly suggested a conspiracy. The CIA summarized Sylvia Duran's statements for the Warren Commission, removing the description of a short, blonde Oswald. The Warren Commission was not the least bit suspicious that all the CIA's photo and audio surveillance allegedly either failed or was hastily erased against proper procedure. For the record, despite multiple opportunities over several days, the CIA could not produce any hard evidence of Oswald's presence in Mexico City and could not clarify why the transcripts of his visits appeared manipulated. Stay tuned for the next installment as we expose week after week 50 lies the Warren Commission would like you to believe.